Jeremy, with everything going on this weekend, what's the weather shaping up to look like? Well, the temperatures are going to be uh, close to average this weekend. We'll actually be a little bit below average, but uh, there's going to be some warmth. They're doing some travel down across the deep south. That's where it's going to be well above average uh, across places like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. But here again, just a little bit below. So what happens uh, Saturday, Sunday? Well, we just kind of the status quo about the same warmth to the west. We're a little below average here, but the cold starts building in the western U.S. I think we're going to get a shot of this uh, much colder air by the time we get to next weekend. That's a ways away, so check back for updates. But Here's what I'm talking about today. Highs in the low 50s, 50 in D.C., 60s in Wilmington. That's a big cool down for them. And then we'll be in the low 50s tomorrow and basically low to mid 50s for the next few days. 60s, 70s to the southwest and well, 30s and 40s over the Midwest. They'll finally get a cool down on Sunday there, but we'll be in the 50s here on Sunday. So we do have um, high pressure to the north, stationary front to the south. We have a cool, dry northeast wind. So last night, if you looked at your radar, you probably saw a lot of green on the screen, but a lot of it just wouldn't hit the ground. It's because we got this dry air at the surface that uh, precip falls, dries up before it makes it to the ground. I mean, what are we talking about? Well, dew points are in the 30s, 50s dry this time of year. And so, uh, yeah, the dew points are way down there. And that's why there just hasn't been much rain. That's why right now when you look at this, it looks like there's a lot of rain lining up between Emporia down to Gum Neck and uh, Edenton, but it's probably just mostly sprinkles. And so that's happening right now. That's uh, kind of drifting to the south a little bit. Maybe a sprinkle in there uh, between uh, South Mills and Moyoc. But other than that, you know, the south side is quiet. We have maybe a sprinkle in southern Suffolk. That's it. Hampton, Matthews, Nassawatics. Nothing. We've got quiet weather out there for you, and you already have a little bit of clearing happening. So the clearing takes over between now and about 10 a.m., a uh, little more clouds to the west and southwest. Midday, same case, partly cloudy skies, Hampton Roads, a little more clouds over towards I-95. Winds will be out of the north-northeast at 8 to 12 miles an hour. So 3 o'clock and at 6 p.m., partly cloudy skies, quiet weather for the evening commute, and any travelers out there, you should be fine. Any uh, shoppers out there, you should be fine. And then overnight, we'll have uh, partly cloudy skies with more clouds inland. Now, tomorrow, we're going to have a mix of sun and clouds. It looks like uh, these clouds will kind of drift back and forth a little bit. So partly cloudy skies, maybe mostly cloudy sometimes. And then I think we will cloud up a little bit more Saturday evening. I'm not expecting rain other than maybe a sprinkle, but I do think later Saturday night we'll catch some isolated showers. So today, 53 Virginia Beach, Norfolk, mid-50s in Chesapeake, Elizabeth City, and Killable Hills. Clouds this morning, sprinkle, and then partly cloudy skies. But no rain for you. Hampton, Gloucester, and Melfa clearing. Cool and dry. Highs, low 50s in Newport News. Holiday lights at the beach. The weather looks pretty good uh, tonight, tomorrow evening. And then Sunday evening, eh, maybe an isolated shower. 46 for that temperature. Tracking the tropics? Well, we were following this feature, but now it doesn't have a chance anymore of becoming tropical. It's moving over too cool of water for that to happen. But it is going to send some waves back our way. So for uh, the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, especially Sunday, might be good for some surfers. Maybe some six uh, foot waves plus. Uh, Wetsuits probably going to be the recommended there. A little too cool for me. But anyway, uh, not a quiet weekend overall. Isolated shower Sunday and then cool and dry early next week.